YouTube. Yep. Second video in two days. How do you like that? Um, sometimes it's just easier to, to talk when I'm in the car like this. Um, it's, you know, it's in the morning, early in the morning. We uh, usually take our daughter to school. So get this little short drive in. Hold on, bump again. As I told you in yesterday's video, doing some road work here. Um, but anyway, today I want to talk to you about, I came across a local article. Um, it was from a news station here in, out of Charlotte. Now, some of you may know where I live. I've, I've mentioned it a lot. I mentioned it in yesterday's video. Uh, we live in the Mooresville, North Carolina area, which is about uh, 30 miles north of Charlotte um, and about 10 miles north of Mooresville is an, another town called Statesville, North Carolina, and that's where I-40 and I-77 intersect. Um, in Statesville, uh, there's, a, there's a camping world, and that's where we bought our, our motor home, and it's where we bought the travel trailer we had it before. Um, it is now a Gander RV. Uh, looks like they're switching out their, their brand names. I don't know if they're, uh, if it has anything to do with, with trying to get away from the camping world name and, you know, the negativities of that. I'm not, I'm not going to go into all that. I'm, you know, um, hopefully, hopefully changing the name will, will change some other things, but, uh, this is really not what this video is about. Um, but anyway, the article was about Gander RV and about their their flag. And that I'm not sure if you've seen some of their uh, Gander Outdoors that they you know they bought Gander Mountain and, and they changed the name to Gander Outdoors and they kind of combined some things. And um, we have a Gander Outdoors in Mooresville and we have a, a Gander RV, which of course used to be the Camping World in Statesville. So they're about uh, 10 miles apart from each other. Um, but they both have these huge flagpoles and these huge flags. And the article was about the Gander RV in Statesville, North Carolina, and about their flag. And apparently the story is, is uh, the city code is, you can't have a flag bigger than 25 by 40. And that's what Gander RV originally asked to put, put up. They got approved for it. Well, later they put up this 40 by 80 flag, which was, you know, nearly twice the size uh, of the, the one before. And it was not within the city code. So apparently the city, you know, basically told them that they need to take it down. They said no. Um, um, the city started fining them like $50 a day. This happened last year, back in 2018, I think toward the end of the year, but, um, there's been some go going back and forth. Uh, apparently, the uh, the the city has now filed a thing uh, for I guess for a court appearance about it. And um, you know, I know I've had my my disapproval in the past of of the way that Camping World has done some things, um, but. Well, I'll say I, I've had that, and then I, as a law enforcement officer, you know, there are laws and there's ordinances, and, and you know, you have those type of things. I believe in that. But also as a veteran, and my father, who was a veteran for 21 years, um, you know, my brother is a veteran. We've we all served under that that flag, and and we we serve and to keep people's freedom. And that flag represents this country, and um, and we love the country. We're we're you know, patriotic, and uh, I don't know. I I think my feeling is that. I think they should be able to fly the flag 
and I don't care what size it is. I, I like it. You know, when you drive by, you do see that big flagpole, you see that big flag, and especially when there's a little wind out there and that flag is, is you know, wavering, and it just, it does, it makes you feel good. Um, you know, however they work it out, I, I hope they can work it out, but they, uh, I, th I think that the, the big flag uh, should stay. Um, I don't, I don't think, you know, Gander RV should necessarily go against, you know, the, the ordinances or whatever the requirements are of the city. I think they should try to work with the city and, and I think the city should work with them too. But, um, I think it's a good thing. Apparently there's a petition going around, um, about keeping the flag up and there's something on their, their Facebook page. I haven't looked at that. I might go look at that, but, uh. I uh, might put a link down here at the bottom of the video. I'll, I'll try to put a link um, to the to the news article down in the description if you want to look at that. Um, but anyway, just wanted to mention that. And with a uh, Memorial Day approaching here, uh, this coming uh, the weekend is coming up. Uh, Memorial Day is next Monday, and uh, I just thought it was kind of fitting that you know the, the time frame of all this going on and uh, wanted to mention this. I know there's uh, many other veterans out there uh, that would appreciate seeing that big flag flying as well. Uh, but anyway, hope y'all are having a good one. And uh, you know, hey, second video two days. If you like this type of thing, leave a comment down below and let me know. Uh, maybe we can start doing this a little bit more often. Um, you know, and, and not always make it just a, a driving video like this, uh, but maybe, uh, you know, get some other things going, but I'm gonna try to work on that. That's gonna be a, a new thing I, I, I need to work on, get some more content out there. And, uh, yeah, and yeah, let me know down below if you, if you like this type of, you know, more interaction, more videos, um, and we'll keep doing it. I hope you have a great one. Talk to you later, guys, bye very big American flag. Now there's a debate on this in whether or not it's a patriotic display or just too big and a public nuisance. The city of Statesville is not a fan of this flag. In fact, they're suing the business who flies it to get it taken down. Our Gina Esposito dug deeper to find out why. This entire debate has to do with the size of the flag. Check it out. It's right here off I-77 at Gander RV and Camping World. The wind has it wrapped around the pole, but when it's fully spread out, it's about 40 feet tall and 80 feet wide. The thing that has to do with the American flag should be honored. That's my personal opinion. Some people can't believe this American flag is the center of a lawsuit. The city of Statesville is taking legal action against Gander RV and Camping World for that flag on its property. The lawsuit claims a flag within 100 feet of a highway cannot be larger than 25 by 40 feet. The one on their property is nearly double that. It says the city cited the company and warned them of the violation. Now the suit claims the company will be fined $50 a day going back to October 15, 2018 and until a judgment is made or the flag is taken down. I don't care if it goes to $500 a day. The flag is not coming down. CEO of Camping World and Ganda RV, Marcus Lemonis, told me similar flags are up at his more than 200 stores across the country, including several cities in North Carolina, like Concord, none of which have had any problems with them. From our perspective, um, if the flagpole isn't hurting, hurting anybody uh, and it isn't a danger to anybody, then the size of the flag is somewhat irrelevant. Lemonis tells me it's personal to him. My family has been uh, car dealers, have been car dealers uh, since the 1960s, and our key trademark was always flying our flag um, in our dealership in South Florida. My family is largely um, immigrants to the country. He says he's gone to great lengths to keep it, and he won't back down now. Gene Esposito, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.